<laughs> to hell with that. It's unprofessional anyway. Yes, I'm ready to kick off. And I believe today's topic will be bullies. Tough guys. People think that they can run over anyone. What do you think? What up, what up? Hopefully everybody's having a blessed day. Our intentions are to bring some entertainment and maybe, I mean maybe, take in a few calls. All right? So, Mr. Rebirth, how you doing on your end? You ready to kick it off, baby pop? I'm getting word right now. King, are you with us? King Majnoon, are you with us? You're up. King Majnoon, are you with us? I don't know where he's at. He's not. King Majnoon, are you with us? King Majnoon, say something! <laughs> we got viewers in! We got viewers tuning in! <laughs> Come on now! King! You okay? Oh, I can hear you. I can hear. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can. He I can hear you, nigga. I can hear you. Go ahead. Go ahead. Proceed. Oh. Proceed. My take on a tough guy is when they're with a crowd of people, they act tough. When they're <laughs> I gotta take that call. But when they're by themselves, they're not so damn tough, King. They're not. <laughs> tough guys, huh? You wanna talk about tough guys? Alright. Seems interesting enough. You know? What would you like to know? Here's my perspective about tough guys. They're nothing but bullies. And they're nothing but pussies. You know? That's the reality of it. So, in my book, they ain't tough. Because tough niggas keep your mouth shut. You know, they handle their business mano a mano. You know what I'm saying? But if you're asking me what my take is on it, that's my interpretation. What's your take, Rebirth? Huh? Let's hear it. Let's have an entertaining social uh, discussion about the tough guys. <laughs> I'm getting scared. I'm getting scared. Well, Rebirth, you got a point. You got a point. When they're in a group, in a crowd, they're not so tough because they feel secure. But I think it's just the way they were brought up, you know? They have insecurity issues. And furthermore, when niggas are on camera, it's easy to run at the mouth. Because what's the worst going to happen? Get blocked. You know, be deleted. It makes for an easy, easy source to act so tough. And I think that's happening more than ever nowadays. You know what I mean? Tough niggas on camera. <laughs> They're called cyber shitters, rebirth. That's what I think. Cyber shitters. <laughs> Ooh, hold on. I got to spray this motherfucker. It's gonna smell like cigarettes in this bitch. I'm gonna get fucking kicked out of here. Well, King Majnoon, I believe most of these people on here want to be actors since they want to act behind the phone. Why don't they just go to Hollywood and act over there? Think about it. They all want to be scripted, you know? Put a fake gun in their hand. <laughs> Let them be a villain there. They just want to act. And that's all it is. Acting. Not real life. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. If you want to act, go to Hollywood. You know, they'll invite any donkey in that motherfucker. As long as you got a little talent and you can bark like a motherfucking chihuahua. <laughs> yeah, bark. Bark in Hollywood, you know. I mean, for real, for real. And like King Lazy Lays once said, this platform... Is all about fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, suck my dick, fuck you, I'ma fuck you up, I'ma, I will not come here, will not get a fucking plane ticket, will not, I'm gonna come to you, will not give me your address, will not, at the end of the day, what happens? What happens? 
What happens? Oh, it's your cousin. Oh, it's your neighbor's friend's aunt's uncle's nephew. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to. Hugs, hugs, kiss, kiss. Mm. Bizu, 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 bizu. Like they say in France. You know? <laughs> what the fuck? And folks, we're going to take a 10 minute break. Uh, for the viewers out there that want to chime in and give your opinion about this topic, feel free to upload your clip. All right? We will review and take in any questions you may have. So don't be shy. Don't be hiding behind closed doors. Come out, come out, wherever you are. Come on, tough guys. Show your face. Upload a clip. Ask the k &R show a question or two. All right? We'll resume in just a jiffy. <laughs> Welcome back to the k &R show. And I'll send this back to King Mishnoon, all the way to Ohio. King, are you there and can you hear me? <laughs> it's not that, prof that professional. So calm down, viewers. Seriously. King! <laughs> are you there? Oh, here you come. Yeah, I'm here. I'm here, I'm here. Can you hear me? Yes, I got you. I got you. Yeah, welcome back to the KNR show. Um, while I'm break. Unfortunately, we did not receive any phone calls. Unfortunately, we did not view any uploaded clips. But we're going to end this particular topic by saying this. Um, grow the fuck up, niggas. I'm going to keep it 100. Grow the fuck up. Don't act so tough on camera. Have respect. You know, have respect for yourself. Have respect for your peers. Have respect for your family. Stop this nonsense acting out bullshit. Because ain't nobody intimidated, yo. None. And believe me when I tell you, one of these days, you tough cyber shitter motherfuckers are going to come across the wrong nigga. And you're going to get knocked the fuck out. Way to end that topic, kink. Now, I want to say something about people... Putting eggplants in people's mouths, which I believe it's gay as fuck. You know what I mean? Let's see, what's another word? Word, uh, word. <laughs> it's unprofessional, so it's okay. What's another word for gay? Um, faggot mother, faggot ass nigga. Hey, King, when people do that, what do they get out from that? I don't get it. Okay? Faggot as fuck. Homosexuality. <laughs> Homo. King, can you elaborate on that? King, there's none. That's it. If you want to wrap the key the key our show by yourself, wrap it up. Pablo got me going. What the fuck is going on? We ain't supposed to go through this, man. I don't get paid enough for this shit. <laughs> I got another one coming up for you, Pablo. I got another one for you. Now, Rebirth, even though we're not professionals, let's try to act a little civilized, you know? Let's be a little sensitive to those kefta pushers. Mm-hmm. That's what I call them, kefta pushers. You know? The niggas that take it up the ass. They love that shit. I don't be saying no whatever that word is that starts with a G or the other word that starts with an F or, or the other word that starts with an H mm -mm, mm -mm. subliminal messages so I remain politically correct alright I call them niggas kefta pushers that's right you know well now King you know how people say love is love let them be who they want to be. No! I disagree with that. Our body should be, I want to say, street signs. We're not homos. There is homos. But we should be street signs. Like, I'm one way. <laughs> Another sign of my ass is do not enter. If this faggot motherfucker come close to me, yield! 
If you get real close, stop! These cat got pushers. You know what, Pablo? I ain't gotta explain a motherfucking thing, nigga. You know what I mean? The only thing you do, nigga, is you just make me hungry. Easy, since we're having technical difficulties, and it's taking you a while to get back, I'm gonna have to take this break right now. Especially talking about this package shit. But I'm gonna make this. This song is gonna be dedicated to Pablo. That's it. We're taking this break. Pablo, dedication to you. Song coming up.